Hello folks. Well, many of you seen my OS Wankel rotary engine flying my skipper flying wing in the past. Well, that one was destroyed sadly in the fire, so when I was able to actually afford another used Wankel years later, I got this one on eBay. Well, it wasn't as nice as the first one I had, that's for sure, and that's because it had a cracked muffler header, so the muffler would never stay tight. That's why I put a lot of muffler repair on it. Well, the rotary engine is truly unique with three separate chambers around the circumference and no conventional pistons. This .30 sized engine puts out 1.3 horsepower at 20,000 RPM. Pretty good. So I wanted to run it again because it really sounds so neat. Well, I didn't have another skipper flying wing from Donovan's, so... I decided to build my own flying wing out of foam board and a rain gutter and a little module package for the motor and servos. I'm going to put some links in the video description box uh, that show the actual build video so if you want to go look at that you can. Anyway, uh, I was always praying to start it, I found out that my transmitter and receiver were not responding. They were out of bounds. So in order to bind it again, I took my all-in-one module out and rebound it. Well, this receiver and several of my other Spectrum receivers have also done that just once in a while. So in this case, so I don't want to have to take it apart, so I'm just going to leave the bind plug in. That way I can rebind it every time I turn the transmitter on. It's just really easy anyway. Well, it's a good thing I did take it apart because I found out why my flights were always ending in a dead stick. The clunk fell off the hose and it only ran maybe a third of the tank and ran dry. So wow, I would not have seen that unless I had taken this apart. So this was my lucky day. Well, here's what happened when I ran the engine. Well, this engine is actually very smooth, with the firewall, the nose wheel, and the engine are all connected to the half by half spruce spar I've got. So with all that mass, and then tied with the zip ties, it's <laughs> all a little bit loose, so it only looks worse than it is. And when that's attached to the gutter fuselage, it's really smooth, as you will see. Yikes, it set off the smoke alarm throughout the house. Oh, I'm going to get killed. Can't breathe. It's a pretty messy engine, but it sounds good. Well, as soon as the snow clears from the flying field, I'll be able to get up and fly this thing again. But in the meantime, here's what it looks like the last time I flew it.
<laughs> that wankle cranks. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing this unusual engine run, what it looks like and what it flies like and how it works. And I really appreciate you watching, taking the time to stop by there tonight. This is Dave the Night Flyer. Hope to see you next time.